All right, this season we're gonna do something a little bit different, something we haven't done in the past. We're gonna take on multiple projects at the same time, and you know what that's gonna cause? Get ready for some Texas drama. I'll make a bet with you. I will bet you money it settles. Wrong, 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 wrong. You, you're gonna have to show me what you're talking about putting it in the back then, because I don't understand what you wanna do. Smile. You woke up in Texas. I'm Jim Dutton, and I've been a contractor here in the great state of Texas for over 40 years. It ain't a good day till we tear something up. Tools make the job. To help as many people as I possibly could, I started a radio show over 20 years ago. Now to help even more people, I'm rolling up my sleeves and hitting the road. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, look how beautiful it is. In Texas, most contractors don't have to have a license, so it's buyer beware. And that's what you get when you hire a bootleg contractor. You don't know what you're talking about. I've been building homes for over... Yeah, and I've been fixing homes for over 40 years because of people like you. It doesn't work in Texas. This is Texas Home Improvement. Previously on Texas Home Improvement. Really, I'm actually thinking take this wall out to make the living room in here kind of more of a uniform space the open concept yeah we're at the lake house today we're putting in a seawall and that's how much the ground has been eroded away by the the lake well i was over at adam's house uh, waiting on rodney the electrician so while i was waiting i thought i'd make use of my time and start pulling some more of those rocks off the fireplace and i dropped a big one on my foot no we're stuck S stuck on the project what? No, we're we're stuck in the lake. Stuck in the lake? So we got all the mud off the bottom, so now we're gonna strap on some chains and start pulling this thing out. This was a heck of a distraction, but we gotta get back to work on the seawall, cause time's ticking. So the owner of the company that's doing the backfilling today couldn't make it out. He's still in Tyler on another job. So he sent one of his foremen, and let's just say there's two schools of thought going on right now. I'll tell you what, I'll make a bet with you. I will bet you money it settles at least uh, 12 inches. A foot? Yes, sir. No, it's not gonna settle a foot. So, I'll, I'll make a bet with you on that. What would you like to bet? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> it's not gonna settle a foot, not a foot, man. No. I'm one of the members on the executive board of the Pasadena Livestock Show and Rodeo, and one of the great things we do is we hold an auction to raise money. Now this auction does Pasadena, Laporte, Deer Park, League City, all the surrounding areas. This year, I'll also be cooking lunch for all the guests at the auction. That's around 600 people. Well, this year I invited Trey Martin from America's Choice Windows to the auction, and you know, when Trey and I get together, it always becomes interesting. Hopefully, we'll behave ourselves this year. Don't flip your hair around, hey, take that in the bin. Don't be doing that. <laughs> Uh, good thing I don't need hogs. Uh, we might be in trouble. Uh, 6,500 right now. <laughs> Uh, y'all see anything y'all like, let me know and I'll pat Jim and get his paddle for him. And, and our company name is uh, America's Choice Windows. Not America. <laughs> North of Travel Ham, 1,000 dollars Oh my god, this is what I found, boys. <laughs> right now we're doing the after sale. That's the animals that didn't place in the top 12 positions. So they get sold after the auction is done. And basically it's a write-in bid process. So right now I'm in first on two different steers. Hopefully it'll cut down to one, but 
Right now I'm stuck with two of them. Well, at this year's auction, we raised $500,000. That's a great start for a lot of these kids. And for the ones that are coming back, it gives them money to start raising more animals. But now, it's time for some rodeo action. Hey folks, let me tell you something. We had the auction out here at the Pasadena Livestock Show and Rodeo today. We leave everything on the field, including most of my voice. That's exactly why I sound like I do, but we're certainly glad to be able to bring the blessings that we do to the students of Pasadena, Deer Park, LaPorte, and Clear Creek School Districts. Well, this was another successful rodeo, but the work never stops. In the morning, I gotta head back to Double Oak and get that project finished up. All right, so we're ready to start laying some floors in here. Mostly I wanna start in this hallway because we're gonna have carpet put into the bedrooms in the next couple of days. I want the floors in the hallway first so they can bring the carpet and curl it up next to the wood floors. It really, it gives a better finish that way. Yes, I know you can put the wood in and then, or put the carpet in and then bring the wood up to it, but it never quite finishes the same way. So I always like to get the wood floors in first, then the carpet. Now the floors we're gonna put in are not actually a wood floor. What we're actually gonna be using is AquaGuard floors. Adam, bring me a piece of that AquaGuard there. Piece or the whole box? Just a piece. So the advantage to the AquaGuard, you really cannot tell that this isn't just a piece of wood floor. But the backside has a synthetic layer on it. That's what gives it the waterproof that we need in the house because they want to have wood floors all through the house, including the kitchen. And you know how I feel about wood floors in the kitchen. No real wood in the kitchen. There's always eventually going to be a leak in the kitchen area and it will destroy those wood floors and you end up redoing them in that area. With this, it won't be a problem because this can stay wet for up to 24 hours without causing any issues. So I think this is going to be a great choice and we're going to get started. All right, I get this question quite often. How much flooring do I need? 1,800 square foot house, how much do I order? 10% overage is typically what you're looking for. That allows you to have cuts and ends of walls and things like that, but it also gives you a little bit left over when the project's done in case something happens down the road. So I'm going to get Adam started here because uh, quite frankly, if I don't have to bend over and install this floor, I'm not going to do it, but I got Adam and I got Jack here to give me a hand. And since it's a nice small hallway, we'll let them do the labor work. So Adam, first thing we need to do is check and make sure this floor is flat because when you're using this type of flooring, you can't have any waves in the concrete. Now it appears this floor has had some floor leveler put on it somewhere in its past. Yeah, I'm going to assume it was because we pulled up a laminate floor as well. Okay. Kind of the same style. Right. Uh, so you're gonna get lucky probably and everything as far as doing floor leveling is done. Now, if we had to do floor leveler, they make floor levelers that are self leveling and basically you take a, a long one by four, two by four, it doesn't matter. You dump the floor leveler out and use that as a big trowel to spread it out and it'll flatten itself out. You do have to level it out somewhat, but in general, it'll take care of all the nice flat that you need when it's done. Because if you have any ups and downs with these type of floors, as you're walking on the floor, it'll get spongy. The secondary thing we're gonna have to do then is put out the underlayment. And the underlayment serves two purposes. One, it's additional protection from moisture coming up from underneath through the concrete, but the other thing it does, it makes the floor softer to walk on, and we went with one that helps with the sound. They make several different styles. In fact, if you go by Floor & Decor, they have three primary that they use. One is just your basic, 
The other one uh, gives you the cushioning and helps with the sound. The third one, which is what we're going with, almost eliminates the clicking sound that you get from walking, you know, where it sounds like the floor is hollow underneath. It pretty much takes care of it. In fact, the demonstration that they use is to drop a golf ball on it and it just, boom, it, it has no noise at all. So Adam, you want to take the uh, level here and let's run down the hall and make sure that we're good and flat everywhere. Yep. And basically what we're looking for is any, when the level is sitting there and notice we're using a long level, it's, that's a six footer. Yes. Uh, and that gives us a long distance to see if there's any ups and down gaps under the level itself. And I don't really see anything in here. So no, it looks good to me. All right, let's get our underlayment in and let's get this project going. All right, so he's getting the box ready. And there's several different thoughts on how to start laying a wood floor. You know, some people will say, hey, let's draw lines and kind of like they do on tile, start in the middle and work our way out. Others will start in a corner and, and work their way. Uh, you know, as long as you get that first one straight, that's the key thing. And so in the situation we're gonna be in here, we're gonna start up against this common wall on the left side and work our way out. Then what you gotta do is lay out how you're gonna do your joints because you don't wanna have just where the lines come across in a row. So you typically stagger those. Uh, normally each box will have a little instruction sheet to tell you how often you wanna stagger. And so you would start with a one and then cut another one in order to make your stagger and just keep going that way. So what he's doing is locking the long run together. Jack, you want to go down there and help him and then we'll just slide that up against the wall. In fact, Adam, I think it would I be would, better if we do two rows. I, I would slide it further closer to the wall though before you start doing all that. Okay. Why are you not lining up? You, you need some help? Yeah, these. They're not grabbing each other. But I was wanting to get the stagger right, too. Yeah, and I don't think you're on right. There, now let's drop it in there. Well, the thing that lines it up is going to be the... Ways, I think. It is, yeah, but you need to, there, you want to have a, a, at least three joints. Yeah, I was going to, that's why I was going to take that. So we can get it started right. Do one every 12 inches then. So you want four joints? Yep. All right, so you always want to make sure to read the directions. Now, when we purchased the floor, the sales rep recommended using this underlayment. But in reading the instructions now, it actually would void the warranty on the floor itself. And that's not going to do any of us any good. So we're actually going to take this underlayment out and put the floor down without any underlayment. So it's kind of funny how one company's warranty voids another company's warranty but again if you read the directions ahead of time which i should have done you wouldn't end up with this case where you gotta take it back out fortunately we didn't have the floor down yet we were having issues getting everything to line up and it was because of the little cushion that the floor underlayment had in it well now we're going to eliminate that problem
Here's some stuff you need to know. All right, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, tools make the job. One of the things we've got to do here is get the flooring under the door frame. This little tool makes the job. I'm gonna let Adam do the cutting here. Now you lay a piece of the existing, of your new floor down and that acts as your height set. And that handle is offset on that saw so that you can then cut the base off or the bottom off of your frame. And it's kind of a funny saw. It, it's got teeth on both sides left hand, right hand, depending on what you're cutting. Now, as difficult as that seems, that's a whole lot easier than trying to cut it with a regular hand saw or any other type of saw because you're only cutting a small piece of wood. And they really just that's the tool for this job. Now, because we're laying floors in, we gotta clean up again, but now you can see how nice and easy the new floor is gonna slide up underneath that door frame. Want more videos like these? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you informed. So I got a call from my neighbor last night. We had a really bad storm blow through the lake house and a lot of trees were damaged. And I really hope my pine tree is okay. But it's early in the morning and I'm heading out and we're gonna see what's going on. So as I was getting close to the lake, it really didn't seem all that bad. But I had no idea what was just around the corner. So this storm knocked out a ton of trees in the neighborhood and killed the power on the whole block. We built this seawall to really protect this beautiful 80 foot pine tree and now the tree is gone. As we're clearing the land, cutting the trees, and chopping them up, we had another big storm blow through. Luckily, this storm wasn't near as bad, but we've got to get this tree cut up so we can keep working on the seawall. Coming up on Texas Home Improvement. Hey, got a question during the week? Go to our website, THIPro.com, and click on the Ask Jim button. If you're looking for a great contractor, one that'll treat you fair and get the job done right, go to THIPro.com and take a look at the contractors in your area that I've already checked out. Don't forget to listen to Texas Home Improvement every Saturday right here in Austin on News Talk 1370 AM KJCE. Don't forget to listen to Texas Home Improvement every Saturday and Sunday right here in Houston on News Talk 740 KTRH. Hey, got a question about your project? Join me on News Talk 820 WBAP every Saturday at 12 o'clock. You can call in, ask your question, and get your project going. That's a terrible shot. So coming back for his second appearance here on Texas Home Improvement, 
We're going to have Jack laying floors today. I couldn't help myself. What kind of f is this? Hey, you know, just reverse the video of us putting it in. <laughs> Getting good views over there? Well, did you renew that plumbing license? Yeah. <laughs> I got all the goodies. Yeah, we saw your goodies a minute ago when you bent over. <laughs> you did get that right. Okay. Yeah, it's on camera. <laughs> got him. <laughs> See, Jack, it's not just you. I <laughs> don't think God. I will say, though, just looking at that, it's going to be nice in here. Mm -hmm. But we ain't got all damn day. Get it turned and let's go. Jack! My bad, my bad, my bad. The house is okay.